Hi everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to make a perfect shape granny. You can see which one is true one, I think, but that's the wrong granny. That's the bad, bad granny. <laughs> I made this one for you and in the video I will show you how you can make this one, how you cannot reach this one. And for this, I use Gazal baby cotton. Uh, I use one, two, three, four, five colors. You can choose any colors, any um, category yarn you choose. But with this one, I used 3.5 millimeter hook. And you will need a yarn needle, of course, and some scissors. And don't forget this, you can find joining videos on my channel too. If you are ready, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's start. I made the wrong one. As you can see, these corners are not solid. Um, they are like a, a wind rose. They're turning. When you use this square somewhere, it will not look so bad. But um, there is an easy way to fix this, and I will show it to you. You know? Start with a slip knot, chain four. Into this first chain, insert, grab the yarn, pull through. I made a little ring, then chain three. That's my first double crochet. Into this space, make two more. Look, yarn over, insert into the space, grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And make one more. We have three double crochets. That's our first set. Chain two. Some of you can choose to make three chains. It's okay. And into this place, put three double crochets. One. two, three, chain two, into same place, put three double crochets, chain two, and for the last time put three double crochets. We have one, two, three corners, chain two and make the last one into this third chain, insert, join with a slip stitch, make a chain and cut this yarn. When you look this one carefully, you can see easily that's the front side of our work. And that's the back side. I'll always start from the same side for this one. But our hint is this. I told you, it's so easy. We will just uh, turn this one. Okay, and for the second row, we will start from anywhere we want, but from the back side. If you want, um, 
I could show you how to start with two different ways. Make a slip knot, grab the yarn. You can start from anywhere you want as I told you. Yarn over, insert into the corner, grab the yarn. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. This is standing double crochet. When you complete it, you will join from here. That's our stitch. Okay, but now I will use the most common, regular way. Insert here, grab this yarn, join it. Chain two more, okay. That's my first double crochet. I will put two more into the space. Now I will skip here. When I skip here, I will just make one chain. Some of you likes um, not to use a chain here. You can make it. If you're not using a chain here, it's be better if you use three chains here. Okay. Now into the next space, make one, two, three double crochets, two chains, and into the same place, make three double crochets. Chain one. I'm also hiding this tail two and this one too, as you can see. Actually, it's bad. <laughs> you cannot hide it <laughs> with this way. I will show you how to hide them later. Chain one into this next space. Make one, two, three double crochets, chain two, and three more double crochets. Chain one into the next space. Repeat. One, two, three, chain two, one, two, three, then chain one and into this last space make three double crochets. Chain two and join from this third chain. It could be better if you use these chains both loops. Someone trying to reach me so hard. Okay. Make a chain, cut this yarn. That's the end of the row two. Now we are at the right side of our work. We will turn this again. Okay, and join the third color. Chain three. Make two double crochets. We are always starting from the corner and always make the half of a corner. Okay. Um, you can choose to make a full corner here. I think it will not affect the results, but we are making it with this way. Chain one here, make one, 
two, three double crochets, chain one, make one, two, three, chain two, into same place, make one, two, three, chain one, into this chain one space, make three double crochets. Chain one into the corner, make the corner. And making half of a corner is better if you are using one color. Uh, when I complete this row, I will show you how to keep going with the same color. Okay. Now for the corner, I will make three double crochets and you can join with uh, the regular way chaining two and join from this third stitch but if you want to use this same color you can make use this way chain one insert into this third chain grab the yarn and make a single crochet do not join with a slip stitch okay if you are using three chains here from the start you can join with a half double crochet make a chain here grab the yarn insert into the third chain grab the yarn pull through yarn over and pull through I will show you one more time insert here make a single crochet then chain three turn that's my first double crochet into same place put two more double crochets chain one into the next put one two three chain one into the next put one two three complete this row when you turn back here just put three more double crochets here then chain one join with a single crochet if you are willing to keep going with the same color and that's all now i made it a little bigger i want to show you how to hide the tails as you can see i hide them while i'm working now i will i will not start from the same place here okay I will insert from the uh, I will insert my needle to the opposite way that's all it's so important to hide these tails nicely because we will have a lot of tails if you hide them while you are working it will be much easier for you and that's all you can see the difference 
between them. I hope that could help you. And I hope you like this tutorial. If you like, please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Since crochet is my Instagram address, you can reach me there. That's it for today. Hope to see you again. Have a nice day. Bye.